afternoon, everyone. Uh, lasers is what I'm going to talk about today. Um, believe it, almost everyone here probably owns a laser in their own house. Probably when they're driving here, they actually did use a laser, but they didn't realize that they were using a laser because they're listening probably to music. They put a CD in their own uh, uh, car to actually listen to their music. Probably you went to the shop and bought something, and they use a scanner to actually scan your item. That's a laser. So basically, lasers are everywhere. So I'll just give you a short, um, a short description of how a laser looks like. Even here, actually, some people are using a laser. <laughs> so basically, if one were to look inside a, a laser, it's just a simple uh, thing. It's like a box. You usually have two mirrors. One is highly reflective, just like a normal mirror. And the other one usually uh, is like transparent. So this one will be highly reflective. This one will be slightly um, transparent. And they usually sit like this, on the opposite of each other. That's what's inside your pointer, probably. And usually they have some sort of a gain. This is like, like a crystal that you usually just place it inside your, la or your, your system. And it'll be like a laser. And you'll have some electrical. In this case, you have a battery or some... Uh, some other laser making it work. So what will happen? You create this, and there will be light created inside the box, and the, li and the light will come out on the other mirror, which is slightly, slightly transparent, as you can probably see coming out there. So that's basically what a laser is. It's just so a pen that is very, very small it's inside here, so it's, it's just a much, much larger scale. What is uh, problematic about lasers? Well, it's good for many applications, but the problem is it's always fixed. What you see is just a dot in most cases. And they try and actually do some sort of different kind of shaping. Um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Um, that's what I'm talking about, two mirrors and a crystal. So if you want to change the shape, what comes out of your laser, they usually actually play some sort of um, optics inside Actually, in this case, you can put in your electrical current or whatsoever and shape, shape this thing here, which is a crystal. Maybe it's a square or a round, depending on what's there. You can actually get a different output. This is what, what comes out, depicted by, taken by a camera of some sort. Or you can actually also place uh, some, change the box here. Instead of using round, you can use a square. You can use also a different shape. And you actually can change what comes out of the laser. Or you, or you can actually place uh, some stuff inside the laser, other optics inside, and then you can change what actually comes out of a laser. In most cases, it's always fixed. That shape that you actually see there is always fixed. That's what comes out of laser is fixed, and if you want to change it for other application that you want, you always have to get some money, buy another one, or get a lot of money to actually put in some couple of things. It, just believe it that this thing here, this class, this small class that you see here, this was, might cost about 10,000, depending on how you buy it. And this rod here is very, very expensive. Uh, crystal inside there. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, that's a problem, that they are fixed. So there's this term, something we call a, liquid, a special light modulator. That's in science terms. It's basically your LCD at home. Just like an LCD that I have here. It's just a miniature LCD. What's so special about LCD is that if you shine light onto it, you'll find that you'll see something of this, um, of this sort. Of this sort, as you can see there. You can see different colors. I don't know if you can see there. Actually, um, those are what happens that you modulate the light if you shine it onto the LCD, because the LCD has little, little crystals. So if you were to shine your, your light into a television screen, LCD, and some pictures are coming up, those pictures, they change the, they actually change the, 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 the electrical current on these little crystals that are there, and then they change the light. If you had to shine it and put a, a picture, the picture changes the voltage onto the liquid crystal, and the liquid crystal orientate differently, and then you see something different when you reflect onto the light that is reflected of changes, basically. So, and what we do is that we teach this LCD. We take this LCD, we teach it physics. 
<laughs> in simple terms, basically. We teach it direction. Like if there's some gray color that you actually put in, in there, some gray scale, you can tell it which direction the light should be pointing, kind of like, give it some kind of direction. We also teach it to do um, shapes, like if you put in, the, if you alternate these pictures that you put onto your LCD screen, you can create a shape just by using a checker box. So you can have a checker box of round, it's typical, okay, you're talking about a round kind of like a shape that you want to be reflected off your SLA. So that's what, it is, uh, what I have here. So, so what I'll call extra cavity beam shaping is a simple term. It's simple, it's simple that once your laser has come out of the box, what can you do? Basically, people have used this LCD technology. A miniature one that you put inside the laser, let's say you control it by some computer connected to it. Maybe put a picture of some gray picture that you have. You shine a laser onto it, as I said. And what you'll find is that you'll get a whole lot of different lights uh, reflected off your LCD screen. And if you are to look at that so-called number one, the, the reflected light, you'll see, maybe put a camera there. You'll see that you generate the shape that you want. But if you look at it properly, uh, closely, you can see that there's a lot of light that is just dispersing everywhere. It's not useful. You're only concentrating on a very small light. That's where the shaping happens. Whatever you put in here, will detect on the other side, only on that number one, not everywhere. And you, use, you lose a lot of power and a whole lot of, uh, of other issues that comes with it. So this was the idea that you had is that, actually this is a kind of shape that you can make like this. So basically it's like you have your laser, it shines onto the LCD, you pick up that line, you can do a whole lot of different shapes that you can actually perform. We decided, okay, what can we do? Can we take this LCD and put it inside the laser? Basically, it means that I take out this, remove this mirror, and replace an LCD. And actually put different pictures here to see if what comes out of the laser. In simple terms, it's like initially, before you actually do remove this, you just do a simple experiment, uh, put a camera on what comes out of your laser, you do a simple graph, just to explain what this is. <laughs> In simple terms, it's like, if you, this is R, that's represented there. If R is 400, it means that it's very, very curved, very sharp curve. If R goes 8 to 800, it's much more like flattish like. So if it is very, very curved, it means that you are focusing. So it means that the beam on that side, this W naught which is put on this side, is very small. That's what it means. It means that, <laughs> it means that if, if you change the curvature, change, if it's very small, the beam, if it's very small, the curvature, the beam is very small. If it's very large, flattish, the beam is very large on the other end. And if you had to do some maths, simple maths, <laughs> you'll see that the line goes like that. And then if I had to replace one mirror, let's say now, do it in a lab basically now. You remove one mirror, or you put in one mirror, you you measure what comes out there, you remove it, you take another one and place it there, you see what comes out, you can actually do measure that. And you, for someone who doesn't do a laser, this could take quite a while, but uh, those who do it, it's easy. <laughs> but the whole point that I'm trying to show here is that this is what we showed. And that's what people are, have, have been craving about. We replaced that mirror, we put an LCD screen, as you can see. So we put in a picture which mimics some mirror. It's just a picture that you can make on your computer using paint. <laughs> so you can create something like that. So those red lights that you see, those red points, are what you've mimicked, the pictures that you put in the LCD. And you can see that it follows the line. So you can sit in your computer, just put any picture you like. You can actually see that it actually does work. So this is what it looks like in a lab. It's just a, a similar kind of situation here where this would be your LCD. That's what comes out, this would be this one mirror. This is just uh, something to avoid this pump, electrical current that comes and excites this whole thing. So your laser will come out that other direction. Now, on demand customized laser mode, it just basically means that, do I want a shape now? What shape do I want? On demand, it's not something that you have to wait, as I showed previously, that you have to pay a lot of money to get something. 
basically, we can have your computer there, where you can tell it, I want a certain shape of certain size. Probably in your computer, you'll not see this picture. Probably see it's just a number, five or two or one. And some shape, maybe you can draw your own shape that you like. And then you'll add it in your computer, and the computer will have some cord connecting to your LCD screen and you'll have your laser there. So a laser will be like a black box. You don't see what's going on. And then you just see what comes out. So you'll have, as a person who doesn't know laser, you'll have this part to play around with. That part will be like fixed. You will know what's going on there. And that part will have your LCD screen inside to actually generate whatever that you're interested in. And what you can show here yeah, is that you can generate any shape you like of a laser just by loading these different gray images. And we call it a digital laser just because you can use a computer to control, to actually load these pictures to change, to generate whatever shape you like. And so what you notice is that each shape usually could take maybe some people a year just to make one shape, you know. So this is what you can do. Any shape you like. You can put smileys if you want. <laughs> or like on your phone, you can put uh, whatever you can dream of. Your face if you want to, you can put the logos, people's name, you can make shapes, square shapes, especially if you go to industries where they cut material like squares, like uh, in um, motor manufacturing, where you see a laser scanning across, making a square. You can just make a square on a laser and it automatically is a square, so it just goes and makes that shape that you're interested in. There's nothing that's going to scan across to make a shape that you want. So you can do whatever you're interested in. And that's why people have been crazy all over the world about this. They're making blogs and, and all sorts of things, <laughs> talking about it. <laughs> so all over, I mean, Japan, uh, Europe, America, everyone is like interested because it, it changes the way people think about lasers, that you can have a picture that you put on an LCD screen and the laser will interpret what you're trying to do to make a, to actually let it, let it come out of a laser. So this is a simple system again. You have your SLM, your CCD. <laughs> and then let's say now it's changing. Instead of, actually I was actually meaning to actually show you something also. That you have something like this, which is just a extra cavity. I don't know if I showed you that you can actually change this as I, as I move it across, you scan it across. As we could say, it changes. That's what people usually do. But can I now have a situation where I have an LCD because pictures change? Can the laser understand what I'm trying to actually tell it to do? That I want a certain picture at a certain time, another one, and depending on what time I'm interested in, can, you, can they really a laser be able to interpret that. I said, okay, this is what you want. It turns out that, yes, the laser can actually do that. So now it changes people how people think about it because now you can change the shape of the laser that comes out depending on how many, what kind of pictures you have there. Now you can create something like animations and all those kinds of things that you're interested in. It changes how people should actually think of lasers now, that you can change the shape immediately depending on what you want. So I think that is, uh, I thank you about that. <laughs> <laughs>